morning. I am NJ here. Welcome to English speaking class, guys, girls, and my students. Assalamu alaikum. Today we are going to use the use of narration. Narration means change of direct speech to indirect speech. Narration is a common word for direct speech and to make a change and to drag in that speech so this is carriage narration narration is commonly used in speaking and as well as the direct speech and indirect speech statements or sentences are taught in colleges and schools let's start our lesson up here the first statement you see here it's a direct speech you see here direct speech is Faisal said it's inside the comma comma said Faisal said it's a comma and you see inside the commas how is it fight? How is it fight? Commas close question mark. This is a questionary statement and direct speech. This is a direct speech and a question statement. It's a question. Faisal said, comma inverted comma start. How is it fight? How is it fight? Commas close interrogative sign. Faisal ne kaha, ye kaise galat hai. How is it fight? How is it fight? Ye kaise galat hai. Faisal ne kaha, ye kaise galat hai. This is the direct speech statement. Rahira Kusbu is a Kajata. So, here, my guys, you see the first statement in direct speech. This is Rahira Kusbu Kajata. Faisal said, comma, inverted comma, start. How is it fight? How is it fight? Ye kaise galat hai. Commas close, interrogative sign. Faisal ne kaha, ye kaise galat hai. This is the direct speech. Rahira Kusbu. Let's see how it's going to change into index speech. I think index speech will get the of the end. And what rules apply for the change? You see here, the first part of this statement will be written in indirect. Faisal asked. Faisal asked. Faisal asked. Said is replaced by asked to beautify the statement. Faisal asked. Faisal ne pucha. Yeh, my students, aapne yaan dekha ke Faisal said to be jaya hone. Index speech में विवासों बुतुरु में पैसे लास्ट कुछ कहा पैसे लास्ट लिखा और लास्ट जो है ये जुमले को बुतुरु पर बनाने के लिए लिखा जाता है रिप्लेस करते हैं सेट को बाय लास्ट से एंड देन आफ्टर प्रोचिंग द कॉमस वो ये रिमूव द कॉमस बाय रूल्स एंड द रूल्स से व्हेन यू राइट द फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ द स्पीच Inside the commas, 
rules say that how and 5w words and how h word will be written as they are so we write here how as it is then there was a question in statement so we will make it in affirmative we will change it to affirmative statement so it will stand as a subject and is will be changed to the past form because outer part is a past so how it was fight how it was fight as last how it was fight as last how it was fight as le pucha ye kaise galat tha you see my students is a beautiful statement in index p let's see let's move to the next sentence agle jumle ki taraf badhte hain you see again it's a direct speech brad aap guftugu ka jumla hai it's a direct speech statement tom said to us tom said to us tom said to us comma invented from a stack what are these what are these comments close interrogative sign tom said to us tom ne humse pucha comma inverted comma start and you see my students inside the commas we have again a question what are these what are these ye kya hain 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 comments close interrogative sign tom said to us what are these interrogative sign tom ne humse pucha ye kya hain my students you see again it's a very very beautiful statement tom as said to us tom said to us tom said to us tom ne humse kaha comma inverted comma start what are these what are these comments close interrogative sign tom ne humse kaha ye kya hain tom said to us tom ne humse kaha comma comma start and you see what are these what are these what are these what are these ye kya hai commas close interrogative sign let's see if change aaiye ab iski tabdili ki taraf dekhte hain how it will change to the index speech and we will see the rules that apply let's see here up here you see my students index speech will vasta guftu mein dekhiye tom as as again we replace said by as to beautify the statement tom as as tom ne humse pucha tom as as tom ne humse pucha commas are removed as the rule say when we refer to the commas so commas will be removed so we remove the commas and there is a wet 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 we will write it wet as it is as the rule say so we put here wet we write here wet and then we have to write we have to change this question statement to a affirmative statement so we will write uh, those those is uh, those so this is a particular verb it's for plurals and this this will be changed to those so by rules we have to change this particular verb these to those so we write as those watch those what watch those what so i is a present and by rules when we change to the index speech if there is a present Verb that is going to change to the past because outer outer verb is in the past. So Tom said to us, "What are these?" Tom ne humse kaha ye kya hain. Come on, close and new formation is in that speech. The last of us to me, new jo hai statement jo hai niya jumla hai. Wo dekhe. Tom asked us, "What those were? What those were?" Tom ne humse pucha wo kya the what those was Tom ne humse pucha wo kya the what those was again you see that what what is written as it is as the rule say commas are removed and then these will change to those as the rule say these particular word will change to those and this this is a this is a, a demonstrative demonstrative adjective for uh, positive positive things by positive nouns and its uh, its uh, its other word is those these will be replaced by those as the rule say and as is a present verb form it will change to the past verb and the verb is a past form uh, of is a verb so was verb as the past verb so we we'll write here verb because r is r is written for plural so we have we put here what so what those were tom asked as what those were tom asked as what those were tom asked as what those were tom ne humse pucha wo kya the 
so here my students again a very beautiful statement Tom asked us what those were you see that we again replaced said by us to beautify the statement in index speak will was the kutbu ne humne dobara said ki bajaye ask likha to jumle ko khoobsurat banane ke liye and approaching to the commas बाय रूल्स हमने कॉमर्स को रिमूव किया क्योंकि रूल्स कहते हैं जब आप बिलवास्तव गुस्तु में फर्स्ट पार्ट लिख लेते हैं तो कॉमर्स को अप्रोच करते हैं कॉमर्स पे आते हैं तो कॉमर्स को एलिमिनेट कर देते हैं अरेज कर देते हैं कॉमर्स को रिमूव कर देते हैं सो यू रिमूव द कॉमर्स एंड देन सी दैट देर इज देर इज अटेटमेंट इन ड्रेट स्पीच सो दैट हैव टू बी चेंज इन टू अफर्मेटिव फॉर्म दैट्स वाई वाई राइट हेयर that will stand as it is and these will be changed by those by rules and as will change to the verb so this is a affirmative statement wax those verb wax those verb tom as tes wax those verb tom as tes wax those verb so tom as tes wax those verb tom as tes wax those verb tom ne humse pucha wo kya the tom as tes wax those verb ने हमसे पूछा वो क्या थे माय स्टूडेंट्स इट्स अगेन अ वेरी ब्यूटीफुल स्टेटमेंट इन बोथ वेज फ्रेट स्पीच एंड द चेंज इन इंडेक्स स्पीच लेट्स मूव टू द नेक्स्ट स्टेटमेंट के यू सी माय स्टूडेंट्स नेक्स्ट वन इज इट्स अ डेक्स स्पीच ये प्रयास कुछ को देखिए आमिर सेट आमिर सेट आमिर ने कहा ऑम आई नोटेड कॉम स्टार्ट व्हिच इज दिस थॉट इज व्हिच इज दिस स्मॉट इज कॉम एस क्लोज इन इंटरोगेटिव साइन I'm a sad. I'm a noted comma sad. Which is this mortal? Which is this mortal? ये कौन सा mortal है? ये कौन सा mortal है? वो I'm a sad. I'm a ने कहा. Which is this mortal? Which is this mortal? Comma close interrogative sign. I'm a sad. I'm a ने कहा. Comma comma sad. Which is this mortal? Noted comma close interrogative sign. So again a beautiful statement in text speech. My students, आपने देखा कि text speech में राय रास गुप्तुओं में एक और खूबसूरत स्टेटमेंट आमिर सैड आर आमिर ने कहा आमिर ने कहा विच इज दिस मॉटेल विच इज दिस मॉटेल कॉमर्स कॉमर्स क्लोज इन इनवर्टेड कॉमर्स क्लोज इंटरव्यूटिव साइन विच इज दिस मॉटेल ये कौन सा मॉटेल है ये कौन सा मॉटेल है विच इज दिस मॉटेल ये कौन सी खाने की और रहने की जगह है लेट्स से इट्स चेंज हार्ट्स वाला चेंज इनटू इंडेक्स स्पीच आइए देखते हैं ये बिलवास्ता गुप्तुगु में कैसे चेंज होता है एसी माय स्टूडेंट एम एर एस एम एर एस अगेन वही राइट के एस इंसेड ऑफ सेड टू ब्यूटीफाई द स्टेटमेंट दोबारा हम सेड को एस सेड की बजाय एस लिखेंगे जुमले को खूबसूरत बनाने के लिए तो एम एर एस एंड वही प्रोड टू द कॉमर्स बाय रोल्स कॉमर्स विल बी रिमूव सो वे रिमूव द कॉमर्स एंड व्हिच विल स्टैंड एज इट इज which is here as the role set so after this we have to put here the subject that is you see that this this is a particular word and it's a demonstrative adjective it will change to that as the role set this will be replaced by that so we will write here that which that model which that model was is is a present form of the verb and now it's going to change to the past and its past is was we will write here was why we write here was because this is is inside the comma this is the present but its outer part is a past so the rules say that if the outer part of the statement in text speech is in the past then we have to write the past statement in the index speech when we Change make changes so that's why was is here. So read this statement out again. Am I asked which that model was? Am I asked which that model was? Am I ne pucha wo kaun sa model tha? Am I asked which that model was? Am I asked which that model was? Am I ne pucha wo kaun sa model tha? Common clause. You see my students again a beautiful statement. Am I asked which that model was am i asked which that model was am i asked again said is replaced by yes and comes are removed which will stand as it is that's why we write here which because the rule say then this 
is a demonstrative adjective. It will be replaced by that. Don't say that this is a particular word and that is going to change by that. That's why we will write that and which that that the mortal noun which that mortal was is is a present form that's going to change to the past form that is a was that's why we write a was here so this is a new formation let's read it out mrs which that mortal was mrs which that mortal was amne pucha wo mortal kaun sa tha so you are my students these are very beautiful statements of interrogatives and next speech and then this changes to next right. speech let's see memorize this memorize these phrases and make sure you memorize the rules that apply i wish you all the best i'll see you again goodbye, goodbye.